hello everyone welcome back to my channel so I wanted to do a real quick video and show you guys what I was working on um, at the moment and that is um, this box journal and as you can probably guess this is made from this so I keep um, packages that are items are mailed to me and I keep those um, because sometimes I reuse them to mail my own packages out or because I have ideas like I have now and that I want to um, create something with them. So that's what I've done. That's what this is. This is just a small um, priority mail envelope. So um, I'm going to show you what this is. This is very plain, very simple because um, it's designed to be for writing because it's a um, box journal. Um, so I did try to go in and add some accents to it to kind of jazz it up a little bit, but I had to be mindful of, um, when it's open that it needs to lay flat without a lot of embellishments getting in the way. Um, that's the back of it. This paper just came from Hobby Lobby and this is just, um, um, this is just some craft text. So, and this is, um, a shaker box. So I thought that was a uh, neat little idea as well. Um, so I'm just going to open it up. It is magnetized, but um, there are a lot of things you can come up with, you guys. And I'll probably, I have a few more boxes that I've uh, saved up, quite a few anyway. So um, some things that, you know, you can do, you can create something really lavish if you just want to have something uh, nice and pretty to, to sit on um, as your centerpiece on the table, on the shelf, or anything like that. You can add some um, of the little legs, some box legs, and you could still have it as an open journal when you open it up. Or you can just use this as a keepsake, you know what I mean? Something to keep your keepsakes in, your little items, or um, even a small journal. But mine is actually... Um, a box journal and that I mean I opted to keep these flaps even though they were bane to deal with I opted to keep those so that is the shaker part and um, it's that part right there so it the journal needs to lay flat is what I mean because you need to be able to open it up and journal and you can do that from every angle okay every angle or every page that you turn to so um, I'm going to do a really quick flip, but just keep that in mind. It needed to be simple. So um, I would love to see if other people can come up with um, some different ideas. But anyway, I'm going to do a quick flip to show you guys what I did. I started out um, having a little bit too much fun because I was enjoying <laughs> um, having fun working with these uh, gorgeous papers. Um, and they are from Sharon. This is, um, I'll link it down below. I'll link um her Etsy shop down below to these. But this is just another one of those uh, botanical um, postage cards. And I added that because um, this was a little plain. So I thought I would add that to kind of jazz that page up a little bit because it is the first page that you see, even though this is beautiful. Okay, so moving to the second page, um, I was playing around with my dies a little bit. And then I got sick of playing with the dies and left it alone because this journal would have been no longer a writing journal but anyway so that will just flip out you can add a picture here or journal there if you like and there is this is one of those um brown bags that i use and i've uh, got a repair tag and it's all plain on the back i like that um, for journaling i bought quite a few of those and that's the back of that just some of the um Shakespeare's paper that I love. I just use one of her downsized images to make a little tag. Um, this is just another die. And this would have been really nice if I could have had um, this die be larger and then had the image behind it to where it all kind of peeped through. But anyway, um, it's that Tim Holtz die and that's one of those uh, Tim Holtz botanical or butterflies. And I made a large tag um, from her kit. And these are just file folders. So it pops back in like that. Um, this, no, this isn't a Tim Holtz die, but it's just another little die cut. And I like the way um, these uh, file folders turned out, the coffee die on them. I like all of that. So I just let that uh, tag plain. Um, this pops open. 
and I was playing around. I made a um, little acetate window, a little window, and that pulls out. I made another large tag of that, just beautiful images. And I wanted to call um, this journal Elegance, and I was thinking about going in and adding some words here, but like I said, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do or go further because it started getting a little chunky on me and I wanted to add in lots of pages for journaling. So that will flip down and that will come off to um, hide a little bitty letter in there, but something very um, thin as not so as not to bulk this up. This is for journaling or to add a photo. And it just pops open like that. And probably put a photo there. And with these, and that is a pocket right there as well and with these i just toured this um tour it sounds like my grandma um i just toured this um weekly time record in the three folding slots and just made like three little separate tags for journaling um and they'll tuck back in and so i love these pages you guys just um absolutely beautiful so i have packed them with mostly um her uh, line journal pages and there's just some more die cuts and offshoots um this is just one of the tim holtz pieces and she has one of her little journaling cards and there's another little tuck spot there This is the second signature. There are three signatures, okay? And everything is um, sewn into the spine. It is a um, five-hole five pamphlet stitch. So you can see there is lot, a lot of um, journaling real estate, as they say. And that's just a little plain die cut i just left it um plan cut it out of manila a manila a manila, a manila file folder because i like the sturdiness of those folders the other when you want to get a pretty like um just say you wanted to make a die cut out of this and you print it on just plain cardstock so you i do that and then like i did here this was um the hobby lobby paper and i just um used the manila file folder and die cut it out of the same and kind of use that to help make it a little more sturdy okay so like I said most of this is plain but I did give a few accents and this is just another little um, die cut that I've used and um, using all of my old scrapbooking dies and I've made a tag to slide in behind it a little rose and there's another one of these repair tags because I didn't want to forget. It's just stuck there so that um, I didn't forget. And there's a pull tab for this tag. And it just slides back behind this little acetate pocket. So... Just really quickly, you guys, it's just loads of that. But you can do so much with um, these. I'm going to, um, like I said, I'll probably do some more to show the potential of these little things. So instead of um, throwing um, our packages, um, the boxes away, we can keep those and reuse those. Just alter them. Just more of the same, you guys. Just alter them and make something beautiful out of them something that can be useful just more of those pages I do believe yes just more um, room for journaling and so the last page I have another um, acetate pocket a little window pocket and I made this large tag and I just stuck another little pocket within it I folded this up so that it will fit snugly like so and that goes back in there 
So, you guys, I hope you feel like um, creating something out of uh, one of the boxes that you have left over. And just remember, now, this is plain. I'm going to do something else so you guys can um, see its potential. But I do want to share this with you guys also. Um, Uh-oh, and I'm knocking everything down. So, this is another box that I'm working on. And um, this was the first one, but I didn't complete it. And Amazon sends you, when you buy books from Amazon, um, they send you, send those books in something like this. And so, um, this will make like a great lap book, okay? And also, if you look at that, that's a little purse, you guys. Think about that. That is a little purse, okay? You can also have it like a... Um, um, like a satchel and if you glue this part to that part right there you can insert your journal here and just pull it out you can use it as that as well so just giving you guys some ideas um, if you want to try and save repurpose and reuse some of your boxes so um, I've talked enough I'm going to uh, continue working on um, these I'll see you guys later in the next video have a lovely day, a lovely evening, or a lovely night, wherever you are.